Okay, we're back here on my channel once again. I'm visiting here. We've only got two more days till Christmas right now. So t tomorrow is Christmas Eve. I'm going to be ready for it. But now, I'm going to show you one thing about this video. So those of you who've turned out, turned, for those of you who've seen in my last updated video back in, uh, back in October, back in a few months ago, um, I showed you my 1997 VHS of the Absent Minded Professor. And those of you who don't know that uh, Nick William 89 has this one, he also has the, the original black and white version because he didn't like the color version of it. My copy is colorized. So, you can see what's on the back. Yeah, it is colorized. But what you can see here, it's pretty much pretty much the same movie because I had this problem with my uh, my, my, my 2006 Toshiba televi color television, which is like a 32-inch color television. I just used, but those of you who have color television sets, you had to turn the color down. I made a rant about this in my last video a few months ago about the 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 problem, which is the colorized version. It's pretty bad, and uh, of course I had to turn the color down on your television set in order to watch the movie, the original Absent-Minded Professor, the, what it was in black and white. But yeah, it doesn't come out. Yeah, the, yeah. I I tried to turn the color down and didn't do very well with the. Because it's got a little bit of color on there, so I I got the idea. But here's a good thing you had to watch. Yes, those of you who have been watching this movie or any seen seen the original version of it, I ended up watching using this one using my 1976 JVC five six inch portable black and white television from 1976, and you can see what's on the screen. When you, those of you who have recognized this, it says this film has been modified from its original version and has been reformatted to fit your TV and is a colorized version of the original black and white film. Yeah, I I, I hate color ver colorized movies. It's not very good. Yeah, they remember when colorized movies began in the late 80s, probably back in the mid to late 1980s when they entered, when they tried to restore it with from the its original co color black and white film and using it in color. And of course, the um, the film what you see here it's pretty much of a good bad thing to do because the companies like uh, American Film Technologies and Color Systems Technologies all did terrible job of using colorization using the original black and they took the original black and white film and made it into color. I mean, what it's well, yeah the one I had never seen in color yet. So yeah, it was a it was a failure. You know, colorized movies are just an epic failure. So I end up watching in black and white, and it looks more like an original. Yeah, those you have vintage black and white television, you should get a you should get a, an old vintage black and white TV if you want, or if you have color television, you have to turn the color down in order to watch the original black and white movie. So I'm gonna give you a little example of this, what's going on. And uh, I had to turn the volume down a bit, so in order to watch, I don't want to go I don't want to go into any detail here. This is the opening, yes, you see, that's the black and white Buena Vista logo, and is the introduction. And yes, this is the, this is the opening to the, the, this is the opening to the movie. And yeah, this is the original black and white movie, if you're watching right now. This is, you're using, a, I am using a, a vintage 1976 JVC television, and I got this two years ago at a yard sale, and it, it was pretty well done, it's, it's a portable, you know, it's a portable television. I had enough televisions for now, but this is very, 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 very good. But the picture quality wasn't that. Yeah, I had a. I hooked it up to my VCR in order to watch this. Hooked it up to your black and white TV. But this is this is very interesting to watch. Yeah, there was also. I know. I do know that IMAX in 1980 also has the um, the, um, the 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 same movie from 1986 or 85, 86, which was a part of the Neon Mickey series, that had the same problem with colorized movies. The colorized version of the film looks pretty decent. Yeah, this on the 97 tape, it looks pretty much the same as the 86 tape. But yeah, probably the originally was from the Neon Mickey era. And yeah. Yeah, the widescreen, you can't even show up in widescreen. I know this is a lack of widescreen because it's not very well done. Yeah, you can see the cropping on there. I know a lot of tele some televisions do this. A lot of cropping because this is, this is what the opening credits look like in black and white. So now we're watching right now. I am going to watch The Absent-Minded Professor on my 
television. And if those of you have been watching this, do not recommend to use a, a color television like this. Watch it in black and white. So that's all you got to say about that. And that's my short little video about it. So I'll talk to you later and enjoy the Absent Minded Professor in black and white. And whatever you do, enjoy watching this on my portable television. It's a black and white TV. And do not watch it on color. But it's it's going to ruin it. It's, it's not very healthy to watch in color. So do not watch this one. Do not watch it on your... On my on other other color television, do not watch it on color in color televisions. Watch it in a black and white TV. So this is even better than that. So don't watch it in color. So that's all I need to know.